world champion. Yeah. Down in the cannon. Let's go, Cam! 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 Let's
as much uh, experience and Fortuna is a two-time champion. So yeah, this, this is going to be a, a next level step up for him. Now, would you agree that um, Fortuna, the Fortuna fight with Ryan Garcia, it's a reason why Ryan Garcia is fighting the Southpaw? Maybe. Uh, well, you know, yeah, because he's preparing for Tank. I know where you're going with that. You know, yeah. Drew Campbell, Southpaw, got checked. Yeah. Got him yeah. to fair business for Tuna. A little long in the tooth, but he's an excellent Southpaw. I, I hear where you're going, Kane, and you're right because Garcia. He won, He says he wants that tank fight, and everyone around him that hears him say that they don't believe him. You know, tanks mm. a beast. Tanks a yeah. beast. And anybody yeah. that says Garcia versus Tank, they're like, no, Tank's gonna be too much for him. But right. you know, in boxing, you want you want to bite off more than you can chew. And yeah. that's what the kid wants. We'll see if he really, really wants it if the opportunity <laughs> gets presented. Yes, I know. Look, way before you know, a lot of people was talking about uh, Ryan Garcia versus Javante Davis. I actually thought that Ryan Garcia, out of all the fighters in his weight class, had the best chance to beat him. Because, you know, I fought South Paws, and I love fighting South Paws. They open for left hooks, and Ryan Garcia got a great left hook, and overhand rights. And I got a good overhand right. So I, if there's anybody that really, really got a good chance to beat him, I would think that it would be Ryan Garcia, because Styles make fights. You know, I got to agree with you there, man, because uh, he's tall, he has a fast jab, Snappy left hook, but yes. he does get it. But he does get exposed in the combinations, and I yeah. think that's where Tank would uh, take advantage. It'd be an explosive fight. I, I would favor. I would favor Tank, but believe yeah. it or not, man, I think I think Garcia does better with Tank than any of these other lightweights. I, I'll put. I mean, there's a lot of lightweights that could do big things. Teofimo Lopez, of course, Devin Haney, but uh, Ryan Garcia, even though he doesn't he doesn't have a championship yet, I think he'll do. He'll, he'll hang with a Tank. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, and if Tank don't get up for him and say, oh, man, he's just a YouTuber. He's just a pretty boy. Stop it. You see, <laughs> you see what I think? Um, what I think up to this point, um, as of, you know, the Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, I always gave Ryan Garcia a bigger chance before until the last fight. One one reason why is, like I said, once, once he felt that he couldn't knock the guy out, he got exposed. You know, I mean, he was too – throw shots a certain way where he left himself open, which he did against Campbell as well. And and on top of that, once that, that guy that he fought last, I'm, I'm sorry because I don't remember his name. Lou Campbell. Started using his – um no, the, the other one, the one that he gave him the problems with. The, the last one that he didn't knock out. Lou Campbell. Yeah, no, he fought Lou Campbell before that. He got dropped in that fight. Yeah, in, in that one. But I'm saying the, the guy that he went to the decision with on the last one. Oh yeah, that's been a while because uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he, he got it the distance with it was Carlos Morales, I believe. Okay, so the last guy that he fought, the, the guy from Africa, um, once that guy used to go. used the jab, oh, what is it? Man, a minute to go. Yes, exactly. So that guy started using his jab, and Ryan Garcia was like a little lost. He, like I said, he has a lot of potential. He has a lot of talent. He has explosiveness, which, you know, you know, in boxing, we always have a puncher's chance, regardless of who the fighter is. You always have a puncher's chance, you know, at any given, you know, at any given day, you could score that, that left hook or that right hand and knock somebody out. But, however, I felt that once the, the, the last guy started using his jab, Ryan Garcia was a little lost once he could have knocked him out. And, of course, Tank Davis, we know, could bang with both hands. And, and on top of that, you know, he, he, he could box also. I mean, if you saw him against against um, the the last guy that he fought, he Brilliant. he honestly, he, ex exactly. I mean, he 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 could definitely box. Yeah. What's up, man? How's it going, brother? What's up, brother? How's everything? All right? Nah, <laughs> from where? I'm, I'm up, sure brother? you guys can tell I have not been following. Oh, okay, okay. What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, no Gary. Right? I have no comment on these fights. Yeah, Freddie Curry. Yeah, hey. yeah. Hey, what's Gary, up, man? Hey, you know Gary what's good? Gary. Gary got a son that's boxing, here. though. I'm so that's a good on, thing. On, um, yeah. Hey, Gary. I'm, I'm on the live. How many pro fights does your son have? Oh, yeah. That's, that's Dude, what we're talking about boxing. Dude, no. <laughs> nice to see you, brother. Oh, brother. You'll be good, brother. He needs to sign with his own. You know your man's um, um, surgery got that plug. The plug? What plug is that, Kane? What are you talking about? <laughs> The, the, connect, the, the, the one you connect to. The one you connect to? That's right. <laughs> Eddie Hearn in him. Eddie Hearn in him. And let's let's talk about the contenders. Season one started it off. I believe season two, like, kept it going. And um, I don't think it was 
no season's better than one and two. I mean, do you agree? Uh, yeah. If you're asking me, I that agree. Question, yes, 100%. The first season, you know, they, they went all out. It was NBC. Uh, Mark Burnett, you know, got Jeffrey Katzenberg on board. Big budget. You know, so they, they did it big in that first season. Second season was really good as well. ESPN, you know, decided to become on board. But I, I don't know, man. I just think those are the only seasons that people really remember. You know, the yeah. third and fourth and fifth season. You know, you know what? I'll give, you, I'll give the fifth season some really good credit because they, they had great fights. Uh, it just wasn't edited like like it should have been. Fifth right. season could have been a lot like the first two. It really okay. could have. They had yeah. the fights. They had the characters. Yeah. They had the right people on board. It just didn't come together like the first two seasons. It, and it goes to show you, man, it, it, it's just not about the boxers. It's about, it's about the people that edit the shows yes. and that put it all together, the production, because – we do what we do inside the ring. Now it's up to them to bring it to life to the non-casual yes. fans. So the first two seasons, nothing beats that, man. Now, now you won season one, and um, you know when you won that million dollars. I mean, did you go to Disney World? Man, I, I was in Disneyland two weeks ago. <laughs> it cost a million dollars to get in now. Inflation, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be never going there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was good. Yeah. No, man, that, that first season was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you um now see in, in season one, y'all got a chance to meet Stallone. Stallone. I mean, I, some some say in season two they said that they didn't have him on there because he thought he was a real boxer. He was getting in anybody's business and trying to tell the fighters how to box and all that. Was he doing yeah, that man, in season he, one? Yeah, no, it's one hundred percent true. Like he would literally try to tell professional boxers what they're doing wrong, and I'm like you you're like you're like you're an actor man but okay let me go along with it because the camera's on all right yeah. so this yeah. you throw a right hook that's how you throw that hook all right slide thanks a lot as soon as he leaves like i'm throwing it the way i'm throwing it you know but yeah man it, it was funny because uh it's Sylvester Stallone an actor <laughs> but whenever sugar ray leonard came around and showed you how to throw a left hook yeah you better you better be listening that's a different story yeah 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 yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Right. Were you, right. Were you the underdog? Were you the underdog? I heard some of the guys on your show, Sergio. They said Stallone wasn't very nice to everybody. That, that first season. Well, look, man. I'll, everyone's gonna have their opinion of him, but uh, let's just say I'm not the only one on board that could say that you know Stallone was. He likes to be hands on. He likes to be hands-on. He likes to direct everything. He likes to control everything. And, you know, he's a movie star. So yeah. whenever you have 100 people on a production, you're not going to be able to control 100 people that are specialized to do that work, that job. So yeah. might have to do all 100 sure. spots. Because, you know, he's ambitious like that. So, right. yeah. and Including the boxers, by the way. You know, he, always, he was trying to teach me how to throw a jab. I'm like, Sly, you didn't throw a jab in Rocky, man. Like, you don't throw jabs. <laughs> <laughs> You get beat up. Then he walked away and he threw your jab like the, the way you normally throw it. Yeah. Gary Belletta was more like Rocky. He was the one going out there, blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Belletta reminded yeah. me of Joey Gilbert this is from true. my first season. Yeah, Remember you were telling me. Joey Gilbert from our first season? Yeah. All American, yeah. All American boy. Yes. Yeah. That's what yeah. Gary yeah. reminded me of. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah, sure. no, I, I I wish they I wish they had their competitions on, on like they did one, but with with all, with all the uh, the running and, and all the athletic stuff because that's what I was ready for. Bolero, Bolero would have won on every every challenge. Bolero would have won every challenge. <laughs> I didn't want that, <laughs> but they had y'all pushing yeah. trucks and everything. For my season, yeah, man, they had us push. They they had us do ridiculous things, man. But that was the first season. You guys had it easy. We had to yeah. go up. We had to go up to the Hollywood sign, up that big ass mountain, and then fight yeah. the next day, or well, whoever yeah. had to fight the next day. See? And then we had wow. to, we yeah, had to right. climb Rose Bowl steps. We had to uh, push trucks. They had us doing some crazy, crazy stuff, and then fight the next day. You yeah. guys, it, it was a little bit less uh, physical. Right. They, they got the point. Oh, yeah. Because we, yeah. we complain, man. A lot, of the, right. a lot of the fighters that, that were doing these challenges, they, they were burnt out the next day, man. They, you know, they had wow. to do too much. So yeah. It was all, everyone was learning. Everyone was learning. But thankfully for me, I never had a, I never had a, you know, the, 
rely on a challenge, you know. So yeah, it was all good. You know, it worked out. A lot of those things, you, a lot of those things, you could have hurt yourself though. You know, like like you know, climbing and pushing. I mean, you know, at any given time, and you could step on a rock or whatever. Next thing you know, you twist the ankle. There goes the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny, oh, yeah. funny you say that, Freddie. Because always... I almost twisted my ankle go, going up the Rose Bowl steps. And the <laughs> there you go. Thing, I almost twisted my ankle two times, man. I almost rolled my ankle, and I'm thinking like, there you go. Yeah. One of us is fighting tomorrow. What are we doing climbing yeah. the Rose Bowl steps? Yeah. But, you know. They tried to the they tried to give me, to give me the, um do a um do an interview going up the stairs because they they said it looked good, so they wanted me. To, I said I fight tomorrow. I can't go up them stairs. That's too. That's too high. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bet y'all don't know this, but season on season one, you know, they actually had me. I was going to be on season one, but I turned it down because it was the first season. I didn't know the, sh the show was going to be so good. And I think that's really? what, Yes. They came to Detroit first. One of the first seasons they, one of the first seasons they came to was Detroit. And um, I got to tell them all about my story and my life. And they was like, oh, man, tell me more. And then they kept calling me afterwards, and I was like, mm -mm, I'm straight because I was undefeated. I didn't trust no reality really? show. Yeah, I felt like, you know, they had given it to whoever they liked, and I ain't put my trust in a reality show. But after I lost, wow. season two came. I said, oh, man, I flew out there. <laughs> the tides had turned big time. I needed them now. Now, it was similar to my story as well. I was sparring, uh, getting ready for a fight, and they told me about the show. I'm like, really? Uh, yeah, I'm not into it. And then... Uh, I think I, I went to two different cities. I was in San Diego sparring. They like, they brought up the show again. Finally, too many people were talking about the show. I fought on NBC, and then they brought up that show in the fighter meeting. So I, I said, I I got to check this out, man. And uh, I, I went and tried it out. But, yeah, I was just like you, man. I was real skeptical about it. Exactly. Exactly. But, man, it made people famous. I feel like we should have got way more than what we got out the show. I mean... I know for season two, that um, you know, rest in peace to Jeff Wall. But some of the guys, you know, behind the scenes, man, were like putting us in there. We had the bigger names, but they put us in there with real fighters on short notices. And instead of us being the A side, we had the fans. We were the B side. Yeah, you heard about that, <laughs> man. Hey, man, listen, I got caught. You didn't have to accept the fight. No, you didn't. You didn't. But I was pressured. I told me. You know, I didn't know the business at the time. So they told me, if you don't take the fight, you won't be fighting, and we're going to let you out the contract. So I was like, oh, man, I took the fight. Hey, Kane, I got uh, Jeff, Jeff Wall, God rest his soul. But, yeah, he, yes. he made offers to me. He made me offers with uh, Sergio Martinez. I said no. Yeah, Kelly Pavlik, no. Jermaine Taylor, no. I said so many no's. And, you know, they paid yeah. me good money, but uh, it just wasn't the right money, the right opportunity. So I said yeah. no to him a lot. You know, so you didn't yeah. have to say yes. Right. You, didn't have to you say won. You fight. you won season one. You were the winner. You had more pull than me. <laughs> hey, but you still have the right to say yes or no. That's so true. Saying, That's true. Everyone That's has true. the right to say yes or no. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, after the contender, after all those eyeballs were on you, yeah. You have to, you have to make sure you were going to win your next fight. You yes. have to make sure if you were going to take a dangerous fight, it was worth the money. Yes. Yeah, you were one fight away from that that show being, you know, nothing for you. So yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to make sure I, I picked the right fight. Yeah, that was smart. That was smart. Gary, Gary, I mean, um, um, Grady Brewer won season two. Nobody thought that was gonna happen. That was a shock. Yeah, it was. Sergio, Sergio was behind the scenes on season two. So hey, he was. Sergio, I, I'm sure that Sergio heard. Some stuff of who they thought and what they yes. thought. So exactly, you, yes. you, you, you were there. So let us know, being that we were Please. in season two. You know who, <laughs> who who was the talk about? Who was the hype? Who was Shred Leonard betting on? <laughs> he wasn't betting on me. My Clark, my Clark said that he was the one that they were pulling for. There you go. Um, you know, we all have we have our 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 picks. You know, me, Ray. Everyone thinks yeah. we believe to win that fight, and uh, it wasn't Steve Forbes. I'll tell you that. You know, mm. it wasn't. We didn't pick that. I, I think my pick was. What's right? Who was my pick? He didn't even make it into the the the, the semis. I forgot my pick, but it wasn't. The, 
And it, that that's always the case, man. I wasn't the pick to, to, to win the first season. And right. Third, third season, Troy Boss wasn't the, the, the pick or whoever won that third season. But yeah. that's it's the contender. It's always the guys that, that aren't expected to win. You know? Yeah. So, right. Regardless yeah. of what it didn't happen. It didn't come to fruition. So you so pick, like, you play too? So I'm, here. I'm losing. He said, he said who you pick. He doesn't want to say. <laughs> he doesn't want to say. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Hey, we all deserve the truth. Everybody deserves the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, speaking you know, of saying yes, saying yes to fights, like I always use that lesson with my kids. Anytime you say yes to something, you have to say no to something else. So you know, yes. it's, it's very important to say yes to the right fights, the right things in life. Everything, everything's you know, you got to make a decision, a yes or a no. Every day, you got a decision to make, and you know, yeah. th those decisions make mold who you are. Yeah. You know? I think we, did we lose Sergi? No, no, I'm right here, man. So Serge. Well, I think we lost Sergio. Well, yeah, we lost Sergio, bro. Yeah, we lost Serge, yeah. Yo, yeah, he so, lost him. Maybe he attacked. I wanna know, I want, I want to know who Jeff Ward picked, who <laughs> who who Ray picked, you get know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want, right. I think yeah. I think we deserve the truth. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Right. Yeah, right. no, they, I'm sure I, they had their if, if, if they if they tell you who the who get pick who such and such pick, then then everything else gonna come out who was betting and all that. So maybe he's gonna yeah. pick on that. <laughs> I know, I know for a fact. I mean, my, what Mike said. I mean, I don't know how you know. I mean, I'm sure you know he heard something. He yeah. said they had him picked because you know he was like you know, right. He was like a favorite. I mean, and then you know, then again, exactly. you know, since, He's yeah. had a lot of experience, you know what I'm saying? Had a yeah. lot of, a lot of stuff going for him. I mean, some yeah. of us were retired. Some of us were still, you know, still, you know, going at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I was gone for almost, I forget how many years it was. Right. I was gone. Yeah. Four, four years, I think it was. Four years. Me too. Uh -huh. Me too. Me too. So three years, Freddie. I was out three years. Don't both of yeah. y'all, don't, don't both of y'all get fighters, I mean, sons, because boxing don't now. So we all, yeah, got, all three of us got kids that's yeah, boxing that's now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Is that crazy how life works? I have two that's... sons boxing. Oh, two sons. Yeah. Oh, hold yeah. on. Sound uh, like two, two guns. Sound like two guns. <laughs> two sons. Yeah. Walter, Walter. Two sons. Yeah. Walter, Walter. Eight and sixteen. Eight and sixteen years old. Remember the baby oh, wow. on the show? He's sixteen. Wow. So he has yeah. he has three three amateur fights already. Wow, yeah. what about you, Fred? You got one too, huh? Yeah, I got I got my my thirteen year old. Okay, he, he he's doing pretty good, man. He's learning. He called me today. He was like, "Dad, Dad, I sparred this guy. I'm telling you, man." He goes like, "It's like everything I shot, I was just yeah. like crisp, and sharp." And I'm like, "All right, all right." You know, like we're, <laughs> we're like celebrating it. You know, what I mean, yeah. Once you start yeah. getting into that zone, it feels when you can land shots yeah. at you know at will. I mean, it feels yeah. good. Exactly, yeah, I think I think Sergio might might have had to get off because you know you know he's actually commentating a real real big fight uh, this Saturday, so it might be the press conference. You know that the zone, that's a big uh, you know a big platform, and um, it's, you know God bless him that he actually you know commentating you know big boxing matches, not just no regular boxing matches, not no club shows. He commentating real boxing matches. You know what? Before before we um, I mean, you know, we could talk about whatever. I wanted to, I wanted to touch something, uh, on, a little a little sad turn. story, you know, a little story that I think um. Okay, who's that? that? I don't know. Who's that? That's the police. <laughs> oh. Anyways, uh, I, I wanted uh, I wanted to touch a little subject, on okay. you know. You, you, our fighters, you know, there's a lot of fighters, you know, us fighters, you know, we get the yeah. opportunity to make money, you know, to make money in boxing. And then yeah. outside of boxing, we don't know what to do with it because, you know, we never had money in our hands, right? Right, um, right. Unfortunately, very sad story. Um, The other day I got, I, you know, I, I got reached, um, I, you know, so, somebody reached out to me. Um, Danny yeah. McDermott, very good friend of mine, who is a very good yeah. friend of mine, you know, yeah. from boxing. Boxing yeah. when we were kids and, um, Danny McDermott reached out to me and he was telling me, hey man, he sent me a link to uh 
to helping Bruce Lesnar out, the ex heavyweight okay. champion. Oh yeah, which, you, you know, tell me about that. Yeah, you tell me yeah, about that. So I was in training camp with Bruce Lesnar, you know, like in, you know, not in training camp with him, you know, because he's a heavyweight, you know. But yeah. I um, but I, I used to go out to you know to Pennsylvania to the Poconos, you know, we used to yeah. drive around in his bands or whatever, you know, and and all the stuff. And I mean, I remember, you know, a great guy, man. Um, however, I think he made wrong choices in life, you know, yeah. unfortunately. And, you know, and God bless him. And hopefully, you know, hopefully we, we could do something for him, you know, get together, everybody, you know, and um, I'm going to send you the link, K-9. Maybe yeah. you could do something, you know, and so we could, you know, the boxing community, which is which is honestly a small boxing community. Yeah. You know, maybe we could help out, um, you know, our, our friends in need. Right. That's true. Right. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm yeah, glad you guys heard up, about man. Huh? Have you guys heard about Ring Ten? Ring Ten Ring is a foundation that helps fund this that, that are down and out. Okay. Ring okay. Ten. No. Yeah. I, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll put you you guys in in contact with them. It's a really great program. They're in New York. That, okay. You know, Ring, it, it, uh, bad man, because you know, I remember he made for Mike Tyson. He made something like five million when he oh, fought yeah, Mike Tyson. I remember that. Yeah, I remember after that. He fought, after he won the title, you know, the WBA title, man, and it's like, you know, like I mean, you know, like I mean, you know, so some of us started with, you know, with something like a dollar, you know what I'm saying, and we turned it into a dream. It's yeah. Like, you know, like, I, it's yeah. You know, that's the truth. It's heartbreaking, that's the truth. man. It's, yeah. All right. That's good, but I'm, I'm I'm glad we all still doing something. You know, what I mean, we hanging in there. You know, I mean, you know. Uh, you, you know, you had a bad accident, um, um, Gary. Um, I was just actually, um, you know, I got a friend of mine who was in a bad accident too, um, you know, and um, I'll be trying to help him out, help him get together. You know, he was in a real bad accident. He had to get hip replacement and everything. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I'll be trying my best. You know, he he, he can walk on, on, um, on you know, uh, what's that? Um, yeah, what it's called is like you know, little little walker. He can walk on a walker, but he don't got yeah, you right. know what I mean. He gotta get his legs a little stronger. He probably be able to you know walk on a cane, if that you know what I mean. Right. But we we working. I'm trying. You know what I'm saying. But he gotta put that work in. He been putting work in though. But you know, yeah. it's just sad. You know, end up in a situation, man. You know. Right. Well, Gary, I know. I, Gary, I'm, I'm, Gary himself is an inspiration to everybody, man. I mean, absolutely. You know, so where you come, Jim, from, I'm still. Huh? He froze. I go to the gym every day, but I can't. Okay, you say what I'm now? Lo losing you a little uh, bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm losing. We're, we're losing you. And we ain't losing. We ain't going nowhere, champ. I should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What were you saying, Freddie? No, I'm saying that that um, if you know, we're talking about people that have bad accidents, and um, I mean, I I think that you yourself, you know, are, are an inspiration to a lot of people. You know, I mean, Thank you're an inspiration. You. Where, you know, where you come from, you know, and 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 you know what you went through. You know, I mean, you know, not, not everybody knows your story, you know, but I know it, you know, because we're close, you know, and we always, right. you know, stay in touch. Um, yeah. Not not as much as we should, <laughs> but. But um, you know, I I think that um, K9's friend that that you know that went through the accident. I mean, yeah. I think we should you know, um, tell him you know look at Gary's story, man. I mean, you know, it's 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 very uplifting. You know, I I think that um, as long as you have that will, you know, to you know just just the will to survive and the will to just keep going. You know, I mean, yeah. you just can't, right. you just can't give up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I know that it's easier said than done. But I think that we all, you know, we all, I mean, like I said, uh, I'm, you know, I'm grateful, you know, I'm grateful that, you know, we're all in good health, we're all alive and everything, you know, but I mean, yeah. we all face that challenge, you know, and some of us, some of us are stronger than others. And that's why we get certain challenges, you know, I mean, like I said, Gary, once again, you know, to give you credit, I mean, you know, and to give you the praise that you deserve. I mean, like the challenge that you're facing, man, that you faced, I mean, I mean, only, only, only such a big man with a big heart like yourself could face that, and That's you know, right. and overcome I mean, it. I mean, I'm proud That's of you, man. Right. Yeah, I always made the best with what I got, you know. And I'm still yeah. doing that. You make the best with what you got. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 
That's good. Strong man. See you, you not just physically strong. See you mentally strong too. Yeah, I am. Very. Thanks, yeah. bud. Thanks, bud. All, all fighters are like, you have to be mentally strong and you know with the physical. If you're not mentally strong, it's just you know, you're not exactly. gonna be successful. You're not going anywhere. You you have to be you have to be to get in that ring. But um, you know, but of course, you know, some of us some of us more than others, you know. Um right. but like I said. That every single human being, you know, um, you know, to give credit, you know, to everybody out there, you know, because you know, I don't, I don't even want to credit boxers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody has a challenge. You know, some people have that challenge to get up in the morning and say, you know what, well, I gotta go to work. I'm tired as anything. You know what? But I gotta go pay these bills. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know, right. hey, you know what? Uh, hooray to those people too. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like, yeah. like I said, every single person has a challenge. Unfortunately, you know, not all of us are strong. You know, yeah. you know, we. Understand End up in, in bad places, but you know, God, God is good, like I said, man. God, God is good, yeah. you know, He gives the opportunity to overcome whatever comes at us. You can't be a quitter, you can't. Quitters never yeah. win. What is a city to say? Uh, yeah, you're right, a quitter, a quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. There you go. <laughs> That's right. I was just I was just trying to think of that actually when you hey. said it. <laughs> right. I'd have messed that up. <laughs> I would have got it right. <laughs> That's because I've been punched in the head ten thousand times. That's why. What what so what are y'all doing now? I know last time I looked up, y'all was doing big things. y'all still doing the same thing y'all was doing right now? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I uh, Go ahead again. You're still in the you're still in the build the business ready, right? Yeah, yeah, we're still in the business. I mean, you know, we're doing, you know, um, renovating houses, you know, doing roof jobs, doing siding jobs, you know, doing um, you know, renovations. You know, thank God, um, you know, I thank God every day, man. You know, I mean, we we got the opportunity to feed our family, you know, and, and pay our bills. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, are you doing, Gary? I'm still building my um, I'm still building. Out. I'm building new construction. I'm building okay. new construction right now. Oh, that's good. You know, I have, I have quite a few lined up. Like uh, I just did two duplexes. We're just finishing, and I got 13 condos. I'm gonna be after, you know, lined up after this one. My own wow. projects too. So who does, your, who does your roofs and siding, bro? Maybe we could talk. I'll, I'll take a crew up there. Maybe we could, we could. Get some work out there too. <laughs> if I have, if we have thirteen roofs to do, that might be worth the trip. That's what I'm saying. We, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we could do something. Yeah, we could definitely talk. You know, link up and you know, man, listen. <laughs> take, take a, take a van. Listen. Yeah. And make it happen. Right. I can direct traffic. <laughs> and you can stay right with me. Yeah, yeah, and Kane, I could come and hang out with us. Yeah, then I'll the show live. We're, we're in the business now. <laughs> maybe that's how I can get you to Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's how I can get life, life after the contract. Freddie, I was talking to K9 on the phone. That's right. I was talking to K9 on the phone the other day. And I told him Gar Gary's going to be fighting August 20th at Mohicans Casino. And K9 is going to have another fight. Did you did you know this? No. K9 is going to fight in September, right, K9? Yes. September 16th. Really? Where? September 16th. So I, 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 I said, let's find out if we could put my son on the card. Yes. Yeah. I actually, did, you, did he want to you yeah, get him on here? Yeah. That yeah, that would be special. Yeah. But where where is it? Uh Motor City. Motor City Casino. That's in Detroit. That's in Detroit. Okay, okay. Yeah. My son my fight's the seventeenth. But but it's the seventeenth and it's an amateur fight. So I think it's later, you know, later in the evening. Okay. So hopefully, um you should try to get Gary, you know, little Boletto in there. You know, and um, we could have like a little small reunion. You know, like like the day of the fight. I mean, of course, I have to yeah. fly back right away, but uh, it, you know, it looks something something yeah. to look forward to. Okay. Yeah. 
Exactly. We got to get together. That's why great. I don't want to stop this. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got to continue to, you know, make it happen because, you know, we keep boxing going. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't, don't realize that and we don't get credit for it. But the contender was really huge for boxing. This is a time when reality shows were all that and some. And we did a right. boxing reality show. That was a great idea from uh, Sylvester Stallone and Sugar Ray Leonard and Mark Burnett. That was incredible. Before IG, we talking about it was on uh, MySpace. <laughs> remember? Yeah, yeah, remember MySpace? Not... Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, it is. No, I think yeah, the contender yeah. was one of the greatest shows of all time. Of all time. You know, just think about it. No, go yeah. ahead, go ahead. No, no, because you know, you know how how Jeff, I remember Jeff Wall was talking about, you know, how, you know, like if, remember in the contract, if they yeah. make like a, a, a doll, you know, or, or a, you know, like t shirts yeah. of us, you know, get royalties or whatever, you know, and yeah. I mean, like, I, th I, I think, you know, I think that as much fame as we had, I mean, you remember it was Ken and we were in England, you yeah. know, we're walking in the morning, people were like, yo, Freddie, yo, K9, what's up, you know, and it's like, Yo, yeah. people know us by first name. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I believe, I, I believe that that it could have been even bigger. Yeah. Even way bigger. Fun. Yeah. But, but I hey, think it could have been. About, even they were talking about putting us on video games and all that. I mean, exactly, man, exactly. Our old game, yeah. Real talk. Yeah. Right. I mean, it is what it is. You know, the good thing is we still, you know, doing our thing outside. Outside the ring, I still, I, I still get messages sometimes, like like on my social media. I get messages from from uh, people from overseas, from the UK, and stuff like that. That remember the show, pretty cool. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah, I don't, I don't do no social media. You guys still do no, messages like that? No huh? Are you what? guys still getting messages like that? Uh, uh, I get I get messages. They want me to do like. Exhibitions and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh, me, me myself, I don't do no social media. Only social media I do is basically texting and this one here. What I'm doing with you. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that, that's right. That's, that's because that's because Freddie gets in trouble on social media. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> No, he gets, don't in, say he gets that. in trouble with the lady. He gets in trouble with the lady. <laughs> yeah. Where your where your uh where your nurse at? Don't you still don't you are you still with your nurse? Are you married to your nurse? She's, she's around. She's around. She she's with her daughter tonight. Okay. Yep. That's good. Man, that's she's good, man. She, yeah. She's a good girl, man. Yeah, she is. Yeah, tell her me and Fred yeah. said hey. I'll I'll tell her. She got her hair cut yesterday. She her hair has been long her whole life, and she cut it short. So wow. she sat in the car and she sat in the car and cried because it was too short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wipe her tears for her. <laughs> it was so sad, but she's getting used to it. Oh I told wow! Her I, like it. I think it yeah. looks cute. Uh huh. Somebody said they saw your your your, uh, your fight live. Let me see. Um. Yeah, A N G A said, "Hey Gary, I seen your, your last fight live versus Matthew Strode." Oh yeah, that was my last fight. Yep, Matt Strode. Wow. Tough kid. Tough kid. Tough. Did you give him that work though? Yeah, I think uh, we stopped him in nine, the ninth round. Okay, that's good. That was after the contender. I had one more fight after the contender. That was it. Ah. That's good. Oh, so you went out with a bang. You went out as a winner. Yeah, yeah. And and, and cool. they, he was he was twenty one and one. Oh, he was twenty one and one. Oh, wow. That was a good record. Yeah. It wasn't I mean, like I, mean, a, I had to go out with a, you know a good win. Absolutely. And you stopped him. You got out. You know, it was a great win. Twenty one and one. <laughs> that was good. He was he was a hey, was he rated? That was a, hey, like he was rated twenty one and one. Yeah, I'm not sure at the time. He he had some kind of title, a smaller title. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, look, I need, I'm going to let you go, man. It seems like everybody is starting to tap out. I don't know if they're losing signal or what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're tapping out. 
They tapping out, boy. This ain't UFC, boy. <laughs> we all fighters. All, right. all former fighters, you know? Yeah, well, right. I'll be a former fighter after, the, you know, September. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. Right. Um, yeah. I'm going to let you go ahead and go, man, and finish enjoying your right. evening. Tell the wonderful I'm wife that I said hello. And, um, you know, we're going to tap in next Thursday again. Another continuing reunion. That sounds good. Yeah, call me, call me in, and thanks for having me, bud. Oh, man, appreciate you. Thank you all for tapping in. A continuing reunion with Sergio Mora, Gary Belletto, Freddie Cario, and yours truly, Cornelius K. Now Bungage. Y'all have yes. a good night. And um, thanks again, Gary Belletto. Let's go, champ. Good night, everybody. I love you. Much love, man. Appreciate you.